Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Helena and this is my queendom. If this is your first time joining me, I am a Liberian. I live in the USA for 23 years and at the end of 2020, I gave it all up and I moved back home. So this is my journey, all right? Over here, I entertain you, I inform you, I motivate you and I inspire you. I even cook for you okay so if you like all that and you like my energy please subscribe below subscription is free and while you are watching the video please watch the ad that way the income generator can go right back into the channel and I can create great content for you all right leave me a comment I love hearing from you share the video with your friends and family so they too can enjoy and find and enjoy all the great information and without further ado let's get into the video Good afternoon, welcome and welcome back. Location change in a year, right? I can't believe we got one more day. One more day. But today is the 30th. So I may or may not post this video, maybe tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. But I can't believe it's one more day and then 2022 is done. Very exciting, very sobering, very humbling. And I thank God for everything. All right, I would like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. Before I get started, before I forget to say that, I would like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. Let, let's make 2023 a remarkable year. And in order for it to be remarkable, it has to start with you. You have to want it remarkable. You have to have the vision for your life. You have to have it how you want to live your life then other people will see that and then they will they will have to join you yeah so let's make it a remarkable year yeah i'm in my favorite place i'm on a beach i'm in my favorite place i, I, I needed some inspiration so what's the best place to go for inspiration is the ocean my favorite favorite place so yeah um this is the end of the year video this will be the this will be the last video of 2022 ah! Then we'll get in 2020, oh baby. I, I, I'm just wondering what 2020 is going to bring for the kingdom. Yeah, we are yet to find out. Stay tuned. Now, nah, let's roll. Let's, um, I took a few notes so I can be able to be, um, be organized so I can talk to you. You know how year end, we all planning resolutions what the year is gonna be I, I've already took I already took time off and pause to be able to figure out this life to be able to to analyze things and see what I need to change what I need to keep going with you know what needs to improve I've already figured that out so I already know my resolution or my plans or my goals for 2023 so we're gonna sit down and then I'm, I'm gonna talk to you all because I took few notes but you can see I'm in the sun it's breezy though because of the ocean but I like to avoid the sun so um, I'm gonna go sit in my little quiet spot somewhere under the shade and then I will sit and then we can do like a sit down talk as to so my plans for 2023 um, how I'm feeling few inspirational words for you and then we just um, stay cool and calm and then welcome 2023 yes with 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 grace knowing that um knowing that we did nothing nothing absolutely nothing to deserve his grace but he showered us with his grace anyway so let's go sit yeah let's go sit. this seems to be a very nice and quiet spot it's under the coconut tree you know me and my trees the trees provide shade so you gotta find trees to sit under and sit under so yeah <sighs> let me relax I got my little note I told you for um for um organization and consistent um you know flow you know I flow I you know I flow right off the cuff but sometimes you need to get um your thoughts down already got this issue you gotta get your thoughts down so i wrote a few notes you know that i've been you know i had time to pause and i've been reflecting actually 
it's two years now it's been more than two years since i've been here right it's been more than two years so the other day i was just thinking i said wow it's been more than two years october made it two years since i've been in liberia and um historically historically people don't really survive that long over here because um it's expensive let's get that clear we got two currencies we use the united states dollars mostly then we got liberian dollars so it is expensive to live and i've been here for uh, about to say, uh, 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 two years and two months now and i can tell you i have not worked for anybody yeah i want to just start with gratitude i have not worked for anybody right I have not one day I haven't gotten out of my house to say I'm going to apply for a job. I've been doing YouTube, right? YouTube, and I also have, you know, some of you who watch me and you guys um, support me as you are able to, and I'm grateful for that. So, and I've also been able to dip into my savings, which 2023 um, I'm, I'm I'm working very hard, so I don't have to do that, so that I can make what I can make and have some excess because I got people that depend on me. So I gotta make it. I gotta make it. So I'm just starting with gratitude that I have been here for two more than two years now and i have not changed my standard of living actually my standard of living has imp has improved i have not changed my i have not downgraded myself just to be able to live here i live simply i can cook one food and eat it three days or four days i live simply but i have not downgraded that i haven't stopped drinking my wine i haven't stopped living the way i need to live because i'm, I'm struggling you know i try to to budget and i try to 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 live within my means and I'm grateful for that I'm able to do that and I'm able to sustain myself over in two years time that's my popular belief people see me glowing they're thinking oh she's a woman so she's able to survive there maybe she got some kind of government official or some kind of uh, I think uh, the other that we got here right government official taking care of her so that how she's making it um, yeah believe what you want but I can tell you this much it's been the grace of God and I thank God for doing what I love to do and through that I'm able to make a living and through that people that that depend on me and that work for me are able to make their living too so let's start with gratitude and um i thank god and i pray that coming 2023 we're just gonna we're just gonna keep working we're just gonna keep working because as i said again i want to get to a point where i don't have to go into my savings and i want to be able to do much more and i want to be able to elevate things and grow much more so yeah my, my goals is to just Keep pushing, keep pushing. All right, let's go with the note. Having said that, lessons that I have learned two years later, two years later in Liberia, and another year now, I just want to put it out there so that when we start 2023, this is the uh, two years plus in 2023, that will be the third year we're starting. So, lessons that I've learned. Um, lessons is that the, the way you know when you come for a visit and you want to do something you do come up for a lot of urgency you want to do it quick you got to go back and people can sense that and they can they can dupe you for that because you got so much urgency i learned that um because i'm here but they don't know i'm here so when i go to do business with them or whatever the situation is let's say i'm trying to buy land or something they want to to, to rush me or create a, a situation where I, I have to react so i don't have that can tell say oh i'm here oh, anytime you're ready you can let me know so that urgency of trying to buy stuff so i'm here to let you know if you're gonna buy something don't be so 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 desperate about it you gotta you gotta like shock this the sense the blood and the attack you gotta go be calm about it and then relax and my belief is when when you're supposed to get something you're supposed to be somewhere you will be there so i'm not going to rush anything and no urgency and also it's okay to let go it's okay to let go of things it's okay to let go of people it's okay to let go of situations that that, that don't serve you don't feel guilty that oh i have to take everybody alone and sometimes people don't mean well for you you stay carrying them alone even with your family it's okay to let go not that you're letting them go and you will never speak to them whatever but it's okay to put people on pause pause then while you focus on what you need to do that lesson i learned it i learned it i learned it and also another lesson i learned not everybody that you help you should expect them to 
come back to say thank you or to be helpful or whatsoever you got to understand that for me to help you i'm helping you from my heart so whatever i do for you i do it for you with nothing no expectation from you if you want to be good to somebody else that's good if you want to speak to me you want to be good to me whatever it is that but i don't i don't I don't comment. Okay, I'm helping, so you must do this. No, you gotta learn that. You wanna help people, just help them, let them be. Okay, don't expect anything. I learned that lesson, and also, um, besides lesson, I, I now I'm, I'm more in more intentional with what I do and how I do things. Let's say, for example, if I want somebody to work for me, now I'm making sure that the person has the skills that they have to work for me, not because I know their relative or I know them and I just just work with them and let them do it. No, I found people with skills now to do that. So that's another encouragement for young folks around here. Some people are here they don't want to do anything some people got the opportunity to do things they don't want to do things so people to learn trade if that's here to bring here learn how to do it if you want to learn plumbing learn how to do trade everybody don't have to go and get a four-year degree or a six-year degree or whatever but you can learn something and you never know when that's something that you learn somebody will need that something and then your life will change so yeah that's survival i'm here to sustain myself like my main aim now is sustenance because I need to make it, I need to survive. I know it's been two years. I'm celebrating my two years because a lot of people don't survive two years financially. Mm. So you gotta be careful. You can't live like you're living like the Wilsons or you're living like whatever the Jones is and you wanna you wanna impress people. You got to be able to live within your means, know your goal, know why you are here, you know your budget, you know what you got, you know what you don't have. So don't impress people so much that you go broke and then before you know it, they'll be talking about you while you're on the flight to go try to re-establish again that's my thing so sustaining myself so I uh, I've learned to just pull back a little bit and observe and see what I need to change with the way I do things so that way I'm in a position to be able to help myself and to be able to help people people that work for me or people that I want to help okay so um this is a long-term thing i'm here long term i need to uh, I'm, I'm working on long-term sustainability yeah yeah also you need to don't be shy don't be shy or don't be uncomfortable to let somebody know that um this is not going to work out let's say you got people who don't understand your vision you got people who don't understand your vision don't continue to, to to carry those people when they don't understand your vision it's okay to let somebody know that um it's not going to work out like uh, for people that you know all they come around you for is what they can get from you and they don't understand where you're going as, as long as you are from america that means you got a tree in your backyard that produces money you need to avoid people that are, whether they are family members or friends or whatever avoid those people because those people will drain you down they won't even give you a chance they wouldn't give you a chance to try to grow. They, they don't see your vision. They're not your vision helpers. They're just there to drain you and strain you and, and, and extort from you. So you got to understand that you got to be able to read people and it's okay to let people go cut them off. Cut them off. You will thank me later. Mm. Now this 2023. 2023 um, is actionable. Actionable. Not just words. Not just I will. I will. I will. A lot of people sit down and they will, but they never do. Uh, I used to be there to where I will, I will, I will, I will. But you guys see that um, through through me being so uncomfortable in my situation, being uncomfortable, got tired of being uncomfortable. I decided I'm going to make a change. It may work out, it may not work out, but at least when I make it, I know I did. And you guys know I've been here two years, and through the, the through my bravery or just the leap of faith, I'm here now living and sharing my life with you, and it's inspiring you. All right, that was not even part of it. So I was just sharing my life, but now through that, whether that whether it's a garden that I make, it inspires you. How I live my life, it inspires you. The kind of food I eat, the way I eat, the healthy living, it inspires you. So I'm, I really, really, I didn't think I'll be in this position that I'll be inspiring people, but here I am because I took a leap of faith. I got sick of my situations situations when i want situation that brought me this far situations and i decided um i gotta do what i gotta do now especially as i was i was approaching 50. i, I realized i gotta live my life now i gotta make the impact i want to make now i gotta do what i gotta do now i can't blame somebody later on for for what failed to happen in my life i gotta get get in the driver's seat of your life i gotta take charge and not that you won't need other people you need people you need a partner you need whoever but you gotta be on the same team 
Uh -huh. Teamwork. You gotta be on the same thing. So that way, if you got a vision, or they got a vision. You, you can see it through. But if you're working with people when you are on the same thing, like I said before, you need to avoid people who don't see your vision, especially when you believe in what you do, and you can already see the impact of what you do. You gotta avoid people. Where is that card here? Actionable year, 2023. No, I will. Uh, I come in. Oh, I will do it. Um, get up and do it. Get up and do it. In the country, we got a saying, I will say we tire and suffering. I have to put that there. We tire and suffering. I got tired with whatever situation I was going in, and I made a personal I made a personal decision to change. So we tire and suffering. When you tire, you make a personal decision, and then things will fall into place. So when we tire doing something, we gotta get up and do something. You can't be tired then you lay down. The way you lay down and how you will get up. Actionable year, now I will. Not just talk, talk, talk. You gotta do, do, do. Mm. Now, oh, keywords for, for you know, always, every year I got keywords. This is focus and flow. I'm, I'm focusing, focusing on my goals, focusing what I need to do, and I'm flowing with life. As much as I would like to accomplish, right, at the same time, I want to enjoy my life. I want to live my life as I'm living. I want to enjoy my life as I'm, as I'm living. I want to enjoy my relationships. I want to enjoy my family, my friends. I want to find time for people that I care about and who care about me. It can't be about um, work, 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 accomplishments, and then at the end of the day, you lose track of what the essence of life is. Huh? So I'm um, focused and flow, I'm flowing. I'm flowing, I will be enjoying my life along the way. I'm still striving to achieve and to elevate, but at the same time, I will be living my life. I find joy, what I find joy. I, laugh, I will laugh even more. I'll smile, even, I will just enjoy my life while I'm getting to where I need to get. I'm not going to wait and say, most people will put their life on hold and say, I will get to that point before I enjoy. How sure are you that when you get to that point, you will enjoy? And how sure are you? Do you have the keys to this life? You just live as you live. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the people in your life. Now, don't pretend. I am very unapologetic. If I care about somebody, the person will know I care about them. All right? So enjoy your life. Share time with people you care about. And do, the, do what you can do within your means. 2023. Where else? Oh, don't put people in the driver's seat. I talk about that of your life. So that way tomorrow you don't look back and blame A, B, C, and meanwhile you're not taking personal responsibility. So it's time to take personal responsibility of your life. Now, a higher self care, very, very, very important. Like I said, you can't be trying to strive for, for, for everything to accomplish and then you forget to live. All right, you forget to live, you forget about yourself. It's all about trying to please other people. You forget about yourself before you know it. Um, you, you lost track of what is it that you are doing in the first place. Self care. If you have to be self, especially we as women, everybody the demands in society, the demands on us. So we tend to want to put everybody first. But when it comes to our needs, we want to forget about ourselves and put everybody first. I'm here to tell you that. This 2023, I've been practicing that. that being, uh, uh, me coming here is putting me first. I, to leave my family and everything that I need to come here is putting me first. You can, sometimes you got to be selfish in life. You got to be selfish, especially when you know you have done all you could have done. You need to be selfish and put you first. All right? It's not that you putting you first me. I don't care about A, B, C. No, I will care about you, but I will still care about me too a little bit more. So that way, because it's me, if I don't care about me, who's going to care about me? So yeah, demands your mental health, you got to take care of it. If you need to take a break, you need to rest, you need to rest. You can't try to achieve so much that you kill yourself in the process. Mental health, if you need to take a break, take a break. With somebody in your life that you know is not working out, you have a conversation and then you can take it from there. But don't tolerate things that will really, really be eating at you, causing you unnecessary stress. And before you know it, you get sick and there's a whole, there's a whole cascade of events. So you need to put you first, all right? Put you first, be well, be healthy, take care of your health. You know how I am about uh, uh, um, taking care of your health, eating right, growing your own little something so that way you can be able to get something fresh and eat fresh and eat right uh-huh there's so many demands on you that should be the last point there's so many demands on you you got family demand financial demand health you know living your life especially us who are over 50 society got demands as to what you can and can't do what you're supposed to or not supposed to do so many demands so you gotta take time for yourself yeah 
take time for yourself take time for yourself i will end on this point i will end on this point plant the seeds plant the seeds now 2023 is coming you got to plant the seeds you know i have to use garden analogy you know that so uh 2023 you got to plant that seed that seed that you want to see grow in your life the change that you want to see you got to start now to put that into place because I hate to bust your bubbles, but nobody is coming to rescue you. Nobody is coming to plant the seed that you want. The person may not even know what seed you want planted. They may not know your deepest wishes, your deepest desires. But then we let our life, the other people here, and expect them to be the one to, to give direction. The seed that you want to plant. What, what is it that's, that's pressing on your heart? What is it that you are passionate about that you want to do? You got to plant those seeds. 2023. I don't know how much time we think we have when we start to delay and be out of fear. We put things of but if there's something that's pressing on your heart that you want to do you gotta do it 2023 don't let it pass by you do it plant that seed it can be a literal seed when you, you take the ground put your hand there and put the seed in the ground it can be a figurative seed what is it that you want to see happen in your life what is it that you are doing to 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 to, to work towards that don't let 2023 be the year that you say i will again don't let 2023 be the year that you say Hmm. If I had this, I would work with what you have, work with what you have, and then take it from there. All right. So, uh, let me let me conclude. Let me conclude to say that um, I'm very very grateful. I'm very grateful to be here. Now I can look back now and say, oh, I'm so glad I came. But uh, don't don't don't. I make it look easy, but it was not easy. You, you are not there when I'm 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 when i am 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 when i am